And then you took your kids to camp. What's with this camp that they're going to? Oh, they went to some disco rave camp, I guess, in the middle of What is that? Explain nowhere. that to me. They're not allowed to use phones. No phones. They get there. There's like rave music playing. There's bubbles, bubble machines. They said it's like Ibiza for kids. And how much is this camp? Go ahead. Say it. Should we just go over all my finances this podcast? I, I'm, I'm curious. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's like a, it's like a California, like. It's like $2,000. Wow. Each? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's really expensive. Wow. But like, I didn't even. How long is the camp for? A week. Marty just told me about it. She's like, oh, they're going to camp. And I was like, oh, they are? I was like, okay. And what's a a week? I feel like a week isn't a long time. What are they going to do there? Well, Charlie's taking trapeze (laughs) and Wyatt is taking. Learning how to fence. (laughs) That was one of the categories. Actually. Yeah. You know, all the, you remember we were on the phone and I was calling and and the guy goes, uh, and he, and I go, and what's your name? And he goes, my name's Snacks. And I go, oh yeah. I go, what? And he goes, Snacks, my name's Snacks. And I go, okay, Snacks, when like I, that. When, well, apparently, all the counselors have crazy names. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like an Apple store. Yeah, like have you mustard. Seen people, have you seen the people that work at an Apple store? Do they have names? Well, yes, they do have names. <laughs> do they have funny names? <laughs> no, but they're all they're all really like individualistic people. Like all of them have like tattoos and they're all like really like expressive people. You think? You've never seen this? Go to an Apple store. Every employee that works there, it's not like it's not like going to a Wendy's or a McDonald's. It's like every person there looks like they're an artist of some sort. Like a musician or like a painter, like they're tattooed, they have like gauges in their ears. Really? They wear like cool yeah, they're all very individual. There are a couple like that. Yeah. yeah, that's how Apple stores when I imagine your kids at camp, all I can think about is uh cheaper by the dozen when the families are competing mm-hmm. and one family goes to like a shitty house mm-hmm. and the other family is at this like beautiful fucking estate. <laughs> that's what I imagine your kids like camp like is like just the most expensive, luxurious, like they don't, they don't go canoeing. They just go on yachts. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not like that. But I was, I was saying goodbye to them and, um, and it was like, I wanted to go to the camp just for like comedy's sake. It's yeah. just such a great, it's like what you that always say illegal. about. sounds illegal. Huh? That sounds illegal. Well, I wanted to be a counselor. Oh. It's like what you always say about high school. Yeah. Like it was just, everything was instantly so funny. Like I said to one of the dads, I go, I'll give you a hundred dollars right now. If you go on the bus and um, tell your son, scream that he, he forgot his diarrhea medication. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my friend Paul, who's a dad, he was like, done. He's like, I'm doing it. And he started to get on the bus. And I was like, no, 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 don't, 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 Because, you know, a lot of the moms don't like me. And uh, <laughs> wait, wait, no, I don't know this. Is that a lot true? of the moms don't like me. Why? You know, because of my whatever, whatever I do all day for my job and stuff. They don't like the YouTube thing? Yeah, they don't. They don't care for it. This yeah. is like this is like Hollywood elite. Like you know, there's some moms there. They don't care for me, and oh, so I was like, "Don't these, do that." These are like don't. wives of like actors and producers and directors. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're, and they're directors and producers themselves. They're like people that I don't know, but I know. And they look down on. And they look down on me, different. which Makes is sense. fine. Yeah, because I drove off in a fucking new Tesla <laughs> after they they left. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> so I said to him, I was like, "Go on there and say, Dylan Stefan, you forgot your diarrhea medication." And, uh, and he's like, I'm doing it. He's like, that's hilarious. He's like, Dylan won't care at all because his son is like, yeah, his son gets- loves jokes like that. He's, he just wouldn't be, like, a lot of kids would be embarrassed. Dylan wouldn't. So he like gets on the bus and he's like, Dylan, I'm like, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. He's like, why not? Why not? It's hilarious. It's hilarious. You don't do shit like that? You don't embarrass? Do you, do you embarrass your kids like that? Oh, I would that? never get on there and embarrass Wyatt like that. No. Never. Because well, certain kids can take it and certain kids can't. Like my friend Jeff, he has, a, he has a kid. You could say that to him. If it was you, when you were 12, you could take it. You yeah. would be like, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, guys, that's right. I have diarrhea. No, I get really, I get really embarrassed with like, parent stuff. You got embarrassed the other day at the movie theater. I thought you were mad at me the other day at the movie theater. Well, okay, well, we were at the movie theater. <laughs> well, we, were, we were going to... I was we, like, oh, fuck. I fucked up. We went to... We went to um, we went to, I bought tickets to Toy Story. It was $70 for all of us to go, which is, which is nothing compared to what Jason spends on a day. Uh, <laughs> oh. So I'm sorry. I sound cheap. No. Um, so I went to. I Guys, bought- he's arranging for cabanas. At Lollapalooza okay, right down. now. Okay. He, he, I heard a conversation earlier with <laughs> Natalie about cabanas at Lollapalooza. So don't talk to me about spending money. <laughs> okay. So um, anyway, I bought tickets to go see Toy Story, all of us. And we were just there to see the commercials because I'm, I'm, I have a one line in, uh, in a new Angry Birds movie. And we wanted to oh, see, it's on. Oh, it's on is the line. And we wanted to see if the trailer was playing <laughs> and if I could see myself on the big screen in the movie theater um, for, for the trailer for Angry Birds. And and Jason goes before the trailer started playing. He goes, he goes. I'm gonna announce that you're here. It was a full fucking theater because no. it was a Sunday and it was Toy Story. 
And he's like, I'm going to announce that you're here. I was fresh back from vacation and he got me the new car. So I was like, I, I got to really work hard now and yeah. come up with some ideas. So he's for like, this I'm going to stand up. And I'm gonna, we were sitting front row too because those were the only seats available because it was literally a full fucking theater. And he goes, I'm going to stand up right now and announce that David Dobrik from Angry Birds is here. And I, and I, and I got so fucking serious. And I go, Jason, if you stand up and do that, I won't film the rest of the day. Like, I got so fucking. That wasn't the moment I was talking about. I was talking about the other time when I oh. knocked all the things over. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Then you were well, mad at me yeah. too. So, so, so yeah, I don't like doing, I don't like doing like public disturbances because it feels super like douchey, like douchey YouTuber. And I don't want to get that reputation from like random people. Right. So I try to avoid that. So, uh, so anyway, we, we watch the trailers. My trailer doesn't fucking play. I was like, great. I wasted my money and my time. We sat here for 30 minutes. We even bought popcorn for this trailer. So it was a waste. So then the next day I look up <laughs> another show time for secret life of pets. I even call in. I'm like, Hey guys, um, uh, there's sort of a big deal calling you right now. I'm in the new Angry Birds movie. Um, I'm in it for a line. It, is the trailer playing before the movie? And they go, yeah, it is. It's playing before Secret Life of Pets. So great. So we drove over to a completely new theater. Um, and when we're in line getting tickets, Jason goes, turn your camera on. And I go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Every time Jason tells me to turn my camera on. It's such it's, a bold thing to say to someone. It, yeah. Turn your camera on. It's, Something great's about to it's happen. It's never good. It's never good. And, <laughs> and he told me this in front of a bunch of people that were like asking for pictures with us. So I was like, fuck, I got to do it because I don't want to like say no to Jason in front of all these people. But I also am going to be really embarrassed about what Jason's about to do. So I turned my camera on and I pointed at him. And basically he goes, he goes. Tell me that. Tell me that we don't need to. We don't need to buy tickets because we already have them. So I'm like, Jay, you don't need to buy tickets. We already got them. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, okay. So he comes back and he trips over the. What are they called? He trips over the, the ropes. The ropes that divide the line and knocks over all the fucking ropes. In I like, didn't know they all were gonna go down. Yeah, they all. I went thought down. one would went down. They all went down and made this <laughs> loud crash. Everyone in line, like looked. ten ropes. There's like, like a long... there's like a hundred people there because they were all connected. Yeah, there was like a hundred people there buying tickets, and they all looked. And I and I put my camera down immediately because I got so fucking awkward. <laughs> And I was like, and I was on the ground, like, ah, oh, that was a great bit. He's gonna love this. Yeah. And he comes over and he goes, he goes, what the fuck are you doing? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious that you would do this? I was, and I was like, oh no, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was really funny. But I hate doing stuff like that just because I'm like, I the last thing I want to do is like have like this like douchey rap where like someone tweets about me like, yeah, he came into this, he came into the movie theater and they just fucking made a complete scene. Uh, but it was really funny, and I'm so, so glad he did it. I just get really nervous with bits like that. And then we went to the movie to watch my line. <laughs> you know what's uh, funny, too, is I'm so old now that the guy who came over was, like, really concerned. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, he came over, and he was like, oh, are you okay? Are That's you all what right? saves me <laughs> is that you're 75. <laughs> That's what helps me out. If it was, like, if it was like Todd doing that shit, right. people would be like, get the fuck out of here. But no one in their right mind would think a 45-year-old father of two is doing pranks at a movie theater on a, on a Monday morning. So that's what that's what makes it all okay. Because no one no one thinks you're kidding. Everyone thinks it's serious. He was like, "Are you okay? We don't want a lawsuit." I was like, "I think I'm all right." <laughs> so yes, yeah, so then we went to the movie to watch the trailer, and the trailer starts playing, and I turn my camera on. I'm so fucking excited. And turns out it's a fucking different trailer. They, they swapped. They cut you out. They cut me out of the trailer, and they swapped out the trailer, oh, and I wasn't okay. in it. So once again, I wasted my money going to see a kid's movie. Guys, if you do go to a, a movie this week and you see David in the trailer, let us know what theater. Please, yeah, so I'll fly I out. Go. Even if it's in fucking Oklahoma, <laughs> I'll fly out. I want to see myself on the big screen. Yeah, and I want to tip the popcorn machine over <laughs> while I'm there. Yeah. Uh, hey, David, turn your camera on. Turn your camera on. I'm going to hold everyone hostage. I'm going to rob this fucking joint. 